Hello. This video describes how to create a REST-based device adapter in BMC Network Automation. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to create a simple REST-based device adapter in BNA 8.7. And to help me do this, I'm going to use a, an online tool that I found. It's a website that implements a REST API with <clears throat> a simple SQL database behind it and it's described here. If we poke around in it using a, a REST client in our browser here, um, this is the, the address of the, the website. If we fetch its root element, <clears throat> what it returns is uh, a list of the um, resources that you can drill down into further. And these include lists of customers, invoices, items, and products. For the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to focus on the customer data in the database. If we drill down into that, <clears throat> you see there are 50 or so customers. And if we drill down into a particular customer, we get to the actual data for that customer. And this is what we're going to want to capture for every customer in the system and store as the running config. For our adapter. <clears throat> Incidentally, there's a um, wiki page that talks about um, implementing a new device adapter in the system. The way I did it, though, was just to look at our existing device adapters in the system and find one that uses HTTP to talk to the device, and SonicWall is such an adapter, and used it as my model starting point and just copied that adapter and tweaked it as needed. Um, so here's the original SonicWall adapter, and <clears throat> I tweaked it by basically removing stuff I didn't need. So I didn't need SNMP OIDs. I didn't need to specify any comment lines or blocks to exclude from the config. I didn't need to specify any sensitive data to hide in the config. And the result is here. This is my modified adapter. I've given it a new name called REST demo type. <clears throat> I generated a GUID for it using our command line tool for that, which is described in the wiki. We, we bundle it with the system. I'm pretending that this is a new type of Cisco device, so I'm specifying the Cisco vendor ID. Um, this is an adapter that's only going to be doing snapshot operations. It's not going to push out changes to the device or anything else. <clears throat> And uh, the device doesn't do any authentication. It doesn't have any discoverable model or OS image information. So these login and discover commands are entirely empty. But the copy running to net command is fully populated with the logic we need to capture our running config information. And there are two steps, basically. We, in the first step, fetch <clears throat> the list of commands in the database, and then we loop over those and <clears throat> drill down and fetch the individual data attributes for each customer <clears throat> and append that to the, the file contents property, which is going to populate the running config. Um, <clears throat> so um, in the first step, when we uh, fetch the list of customers, I'm doing a multi-value capture to capture just the digits that appear in between the <clears throat> customer open and close tags within the list. And those are all being captured to this properties array called command.customerIDs. Then we loop over that array here and fetch the individual customer data for each one. And for each such customer, we capture its entire um, customer tag, including its children, and append that to this file contents property. <clears throat> None of these other device commands are populated in here. <clears throat> so we then need to import that into the system. <clears throat> and I did that earlier, but I'll do it again here.
And now we're ready to create a device that's going to use that device adapter. And I did that earlier as well. So it's a device called REST demo device. It's using the REST demo type. And for its address, it has the host name of the website that we're going to talk to. And I executed a snapshot job earlier as well to test this all out. So the action is to snapshot that device. If you look at the transcript, <clears throat> here's what it did when it did the snapshot running. It fetched all of the customer list and then looped over each of the entries in the customer list and plucked off the customer tag information from each. The resulting config, if we look at it, is here. So it's got the customer tag for all 50 customers in their database. So there we have it.